So I'm doing a cam and crank waveform on this Astra. Um, the top one's an inductive sensor, bottom one's a Hall effect. So the top one's the crankshaft. Um, if I zoom in, I'll show you that I'm not really getting a, a clear picture. It's kind of spikes, not very good. Um, I've just figured out how to actually change the sample rate on this. Um, so what you want to do is scroll down. And you can, if you go to user set, and you can see their depth. So if you change that to that setting there, and then what we'll do is we'll come off, and we'll let it run again. You can see that the capture is already cleared up quite massively. So if we zoom in on that, you can see that the capture's a hell of a lot better and it represents a, an actual crankshaft pickup waveform. So we'll zoom in. So if we keep keep zooming in on that, you can see there we go. So that's an ideal uh, waveform for that. You've not got that spikiness anymore. It's just a short video on how to actually adjust the sample rate on this. Uh, mine's was already set to that setting for some reason. And you can see when you zoom in, it's not actually going to show you again, but uh, if you want it set roughly, if I set that down to, if I zoom out on that, sorry, if I set that to one second per division, with that setting there, there we go, there's our sample rate. The other ones, not really sure, I've not tried them out, but I've got it set to that and the sample rate is perfect. So there we go.